Hey everyone, this is Master Erix, also known as Langcamp, with The Sins Gaming. Um, as you can tell, I'm playing Bastion today. Uh, it was a recommendation by some of my friends at work, um, and I figured I might as well go through it with you guys. This is my first playthrough, um, and I'm only going to go through like 20 minutes of it, so we'll see how far I can get in about 20 minutes. Proper uh, story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. One of the interesting things I've heard so far about this game is that... He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it pointing away. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. So it would appear that there is uh, an a relatively easy attack. I'm gonna do some adjustment of some volume here because uh, that seems a little loud just to me. I'm not sure if you guys can even hear me. All right, back to the game. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant in the calamity. <laughs> that a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him though. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Got a holder still to spin up the chamber. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around him. Must have fled here from the mines. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery, gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. It's hard to get a gauge on what's actually going on. Um, that's about all I can say. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Holy crap. 
crap. Them windbags are playing for keeps. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Hmm. So, when you die, what happens? That's the big question. Oh, look. I just take a hit to something. Or did I take a hit to? Hmm. Space to evasive roll. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Definitely interesting. I'll give it that. It reminds me of uh, an old game. Good I used news to play is the emergency was... defenses still work. Bad news is they aim it for the kid. He finds the distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. Oh, it. Distillery allows you to assign new unlocks, it seems. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Ah, I see. 
missing shot just jumps between the targets. That one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Right back at you. Shouldn't have done what he just did. short uh, display of what Bastion's like. Um, I'm going to keep playing it myself just to see where, where this thing goes, um, but I hope you enjoyed my little uh, first look playthrough. Obviously I didn't talk too much because the narrator was talking the entire time, but uh, if you don't mind that, uh, I suppose uh, the game is pretty good. It's very interesting. Definitely a different, uh, different sort of setup than I would have expected. So, uh, like always, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.